Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to understand the demonstration of malware detection system using machine learning algorithms. So here we are using multiple algorithms to detect malware and two different approaches we are using. First of all, we are detecting any P file that is the portable executable file, for example, .exe file or .msi file that can be the portable executable files. So we will upload such files and we'll try to find out the features of that file and based on that we'll try to identify whether that file is safe or it's a malware. Also the URLs we are testing for example many times we visit so many websites or the web URLs. So what we are going to do we are going to hit that URL in our system and we'll check whether that URL is safe URL or the harmful URL. So these two things we are doing in one single project and that is the malware detection system using machine learning algorithm. Coming back to the algorithms we are uh, using here machine learning algorithm like decision tree classifier or the random forest classifier and even the logistic regression uh, analysis to detect all those stuff. So that is the uh, basic funda behind this. In order to implement this project, we are having the data sets. So as per as the data sets are concerned, here we are having the data set for the URLs. And these URLs are like, they are marked as bad URLs and good URLs. Now the good URLs are the safe URLs and the bad URLs are not safe URLs. So based on this data set, the model is trained. And this data set is quite huge. So many entries are there in the data set. Also, we are having the another data set which is related to the PE files. Now, for example, these kind of files and their features and all those things we are having. And at the end, whether that file is safe or legitimate, that is uh, mentioned. So based on that, it will be easy to identify whether this is safe file or the harmful file. So based on these two data sets, we have trained the model. And once the model is trained, we have created a web application to uh, upload the files and to type the URL so that we can test them whether they are harmful URLs or the safe files or the harmful files. For programming purpose, we are using Python along with the Flask framework to create web application. And also HTML and CSS is used for front-end development purpose. Now, once the code is under running condition, this is the login page we have designed. And here you need to log in. Before you log in, you should create your account. So to create account, here is the uh, system. So here you need to put your first name, last name, your email address, your password. You have to repeat your password. And as a security question, in order to recover your account, uh, if you forgot your password. So in that case, you have to uh, uh, type your this or you have to answer this question and this question will be helped to find out your accounts so for example you can go to the login and let's see if i click on the forgot password then i need to enter the uh, url and based on that url uh, i need to find out whether uh, my account or I can recover my account. So for example, I need to un uh, answer this security question. So for example, what is the name of your page? That's a security question. So I have already registered with this uh, email address. Now I will answer the question and then I can get my password. So this is how I can get my password. And now once I get the password, I can log in. So that one feature is added here to recover the forgotten password by using the uh, security question. Now I am having the correct credentials. Now I can directly log in. So once I log in, this kind of home page will open. On the home page, uh, we are displaying there is a sidebar in which we are having so many options and also the title of the project and also the account. So here actually you can uh, log out or you can register another user. And here we are having the OREO of project on the home page. Now, as far as the OREO is concerned, the domain of the project, data set source, and the algorithms we are using, and the framework which is used to implement this project. Then the problem statement, proposed solution, introduction, conclusion, these kind of information uh, is available on the home page. Now, there is another option called dashboard. On the dashboard, it's related to all the uh, analysis and the graphs and the uh, values or accuracy charts regarding this project. 
Now as per the data size uh, uh, set size is concerned, this is the size of data set. For the training, we are using 70% data. For the testing, we are using 30% data. And accuracy we have obtained is around 99%. So based on, there are three different uh, algorithms. But this is the highest accuracy that we have obtained. And then we are having this uh, accuracy versus algorithm. So first of all, decision tree, the accuracy is 99.09%. Random force classifier has obtained 99.45% accuracy and linear regression has uh, um, obtained 98.45% accuracy. And uh, whatever the files we are having, there are some legitimate files and there are some malicious files. So their uh, uh, percentage of having legitimate and all this is uh, there. This is for the data set. And also we have plotted the performance in terms of accuracy, precision, F1 score, recall, and test size. So this is the accuracy. This is particularly for the random forge classifier, where the accuracy is 99.45%, precision is 99.02%, F1 score is 98.94%, and the recall is 98.87%. And also the confusion matrix we have plotted. This is for the files, or the PE files, basically. And uh, this prediction, which is the diagonal, Diagonal predictions are correct and non-diagonal predictions are incorrect. So that is the meaning of this and then some development approach and the model development we have. So that, that's all about the dashboard. Now we can visualize the sample of data set, how data side set looks like. So this is the data set. This is how our data set is looking like and which is stored in the CSV files that we have just seen in the VS code. The same thing is converted to table and only first five entries are uh, taken here to show the sample of the data set. So this is the data set sample. Now the most important part is to upload some file and to test that file. For example, I will go here and I will take this file or for example this file. Then I will open this file. Then I will click on test file. So this file is not safe that is predicted by the system. Now I will check another file. For example, I want to check this DLL file. So I will open this file and then I will test this file. So this file is safe file for us. And same thing, whatever we are predicting that is stored in the data set or, or in the history or it is recorded in some table and that table also will see. Then I can check the URLs also. So first of all, I can type any URL whether I need to check whether it is safe URL or not. So I will test this URL. So this is going to be the safe URL. Then again, I will take some another URL, for example, this URL. And I can check this one. So this is harmful URL. So this is how the URL and the files can be tested. Though any uh, .exe files which on which the model is trained can be tested. And also the URLs you can test. So any URL you can put over here. So this system provides set in two directions. First of all, from the PE files as well as from the URLs that you are visiting on the web browser. And at the end, we can get the prediction history. And this is the table of your uh, history record. So here, either file or URL you are going to test. So for example, now this is the testing for two days. So now we have tested this, this was not safe. Then this file was safe. Also this URL was safe and this URL was harmful. So this way, all those things will be tested and that will be recorded in the history table. And at the end, you can log out from here also. And also there is a option to log out from here. So I will log out from here. So that's the complete implementation of this project. In case you need code of this project or any support regarding the implementation of this project, then you can check the description box under this video. Thank you.